Hey folks, it's Mitch Garvis and I'm here with Stefano Tartaglia. Nice. All right. We are, this is the ethnic version, so I'm actually going to be Michele David Ben Abraham with Stefano Tartaglia. And we're going to talk to you, we've been talking about cigars ad infinitum. And all of a sudden, we got to talking, we put our cigars down for a few minutes, and they are out. Yes, the cigars have gone out. Are we done? No, we are absolutely not done. All right. Now, one of the things we discussed earlier on is taking the band off. Because we are much of the way through the cigar, once the cigar is out, this is actually a pretty good time to take the band off if it's going to slide off. Normally, I would smoke mine a little bit further down before I take the band off, but like you said, this is a good time. Now, my band will not slide off, so I'm going to go to the edge of the band and I'm going to peel it off very gently, trying not to take any leaf with it. And also because we are going to use our bands later on for artwork. For artwork, we're going to try not to ruin the band either. So I'm going to keep my band. Perfect. We have these two bands here and now we're going to relight them. Now, is there any difference between relighting a cigar and lighting a cigar? Um, yes, there is. When you relight a cigar, you don't have to do the foot toasting, which you do when you light a cigar, which we talked about in the previous video. That's right. So, I will light mine. Um, my choice for lighting a cigar is to take my torch, which might be out of gas, and cigar in the mouth. I am out of gas, so I will take the other one, and we'll do it with a match. Or oh, we'll do it with a spill. My favorite way to light a cigar is with a spill. In the mouth, draw. So, I am going to do the same thing, except I'm just going to use the match. Now, now I put this out before it was completely lit, so I didn't burn my fingers. When it's mostly lit, I'm going to use one more match. And you'll notice... that I'm holding the match at a downward angle. That's so the flame uses more of the wood and doesn't go out as quickly, especially if you're in the wood or if you need more time to light your cigar. But you know, one thing that you'll notice when you're smoking a cigar that you've relit, especially a couple of times, is that the flavor profile changes to a little bit bitter, a little bit sour. Acrid. Acrid is a good word for it. Yeah. That's because a lot of the flame and um, and a lot of the oils and the tars have started to solidify inside the cigar. So what we could do is purge our cigar. Yes. Just take it in your mouth and blow. Good long breath two or three times. Let your cigar sit for a couple of seconds afterwards because now you've heated it up. Yeah. And happen is you are pushing those tars and oils out of the cigar and it refreshes the cigar. The cigar should now taste like it did before it went out. And, and that is absolutely beautiful. It is back to the creamy and a little bit of spice to it that I was enjoying before. I'm going to purge mine now because it has gone acrid a little bit. Yeah. long purge. We'll let it sit for a little bit, let it cool off. Yeah. Now one thing that we should talk about is how long can a cigar sit once it's gone out? That depends on the cigar. It does. But my general rule is within an hour you're probably going to be okay. Beyond that 
especially if you, it, you can't leave it overnight, for example. No. You can leave it for 20 minutes, half an hour, even an hour. Even an hour you can probably save your cigar. Beyond that, it really probably, you'll be smoking an inferior product just because the sediments do set. Yeah. And the impurities that we discussed will set and start to infect the rest of the cigar and really change the flavor profile. The cigar just won't taste good. Yeah. What happens with me is if I've let it sit too long, I relight it, uh, I'll get the hiccups. <laughs> it's, um, and you just, you toss your cigar because it's not doing you any good. If you're not enjoying your cigar, don't smoke your cigar. Don't smoke your cigar. It's as simple as that. The whole point of having a cigar is to enjoy the time that you're having with it. Enjoy the flavors, enjoy the company. Um, if the cigar tastes bad, toss it. Simple as that. Now, there's a lot of people, as we've discussed, we will do this on purpose. We will leave our cigar to sit for a little while. Is there anything that we should do when letting it go out for a little while that should be part of the ritual? Well, if you think you're going to have your cigar sit for 15, 20 minutes and you're not going to take a puff on it, you should purge your cigar before you let it sit. There you go. That's what I generally do. Okay. Now, one of the things that I've discovered through sometimes annoying but usually very humorous experience is watching cigarette smokers smoke cigars. First of all, they always try to inhale, which usually ends up with, with having... Very hilarious results. Um, if you have never had a green friend since Kermit the Frog, you will have one if you have a cigarette smoker inhaling your cigar, because let's make no mistake about it, there's a lot more tobacco in this than there is in a cigarette. But if a cigarette smoker puts their cigarette down, they take a few puffs and they put it down, you know what's going to happen? It will burn from beginning to end. Why? There are chemicals added to cigarettes that make it burn. So cigarette smokers will put it out when they put it down. Don't ever do that with a cigar. When you take a cigar to put down, that's how you do it. You let it rest. You let it rest. As well, it's funny to watch them finish a cigar when they try to crush it out like they do a cigarette. You know what happens oh, when you crush out a cigarette? That's a no-no. You know why? It smells terrible. First of all, it smells terrible. Second of all, there's no amount of crushing that is going to put out your cigar. Cigarette crushes perfectly because it starts with crushed leaf. This long filler cigar is made from whole leaf, and if you crush it out, it's going to break, but the fire is still going to be going in there. And it will make a huge mess, and it's completely unrecoverable. You put it down, and it will go out two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, and that's about it. You may want to tap your ash before, but you don't want to do anything more than that. I have a, well, I'll say a ritual, but you have to respect the cigar. The cigar is like an old friend. You spent quality time with this friend. Um, at some point, that friendship comes to an end. You take the cigar. You either place it on the rest, let it go out on its own, you place it gently in the bottom of the ashtray, let it go out on its own, give it the respect it deserves, let it go out peacefully, you will not get those terrible smells, and you've treated your cigar with the respect that it deserves. Now I have a friend in Cuba who goes one step further, and this is actually a religious thing. He is not Christian. He is a an old world religion that has endured in, in Cuba for hundreds of years, and I can't pronounce the name of the religion. But he taught me years ago, when you're finished the cigar, you give it to a tree. Give it to a tree. And you put it into the branch of a tree and let it go out there. And if you look outside my office in springtime, there will usually be at any given point three or four or five cigars that have gone out. You give it to the tree and let the tree enjoy it for as long as it enjoys it, and then it goes 
away. Nature takes its course. Nature does take its course. By the way, every component of a cigar is biodegradable. There is one ingredient in a cigar, which is... Tobacco leaf. Tobacco leaf. In fact, a very interesting uh, fact, the only part of a Cuban cigar that is not made in Cuba is the tiny little bit of vegetable glue that holds the band on the cigar. Every other part is from Cuba. That glue, which is also biodegradable, happens to come from Canada. Oh, interesting. So there are all sorts of different ways. By the way, if you work in an area where they're less understanding about your cigars, my old company had no trees around. Rather than leaving it on the ground, which is called littering, yeah. you find a cigar grate, uh, find, <laughs> cigar grate, find a sewer grate, put it into the sewer grate. Don't do that if you're in the middle of the desert and the sewer is filled with dried leaves. But if it's <laughs> if you're in Canada, we get a lot of rain here. Put it into the uh, the sewer grate and it will go out. Put it into a little bit of water and it will go out. What I tend to do, if I've got nowhere else to put my cigar out, I will put it into the grass, rub it out with my foot so all the leaves spread out and it now becomes dried leaves on the ground. There you go. When I'm on the beach and there are very few places that I enjoy smoking more than I enjoy smoking on the beach, I put it into the ground and I bury it in the sand and it will never be seen again. I would consider that littering. Ah, but remember, it's biodegradable. It is biodegradable, but what about the next kid that digs it up to make a sandcastle? Every sandcastle needs a flag? <laughs> what better flag can you have than a pool habano cigar? You and I agree to that, but the kid's parents might not. Well, there's that. So, all of this to say is that remember that your cigar can be relit. But this is not a cigarette. This is treated very differently. And you said something very interesting. Always treat your cigar with respect. Absolutely. If you respect the cigar, it will respect you. Mm -hmm. And if you respect the cigar, everyone around you will respect you for smoking the cigar. Now, there will be people who don't enjoy the smell of your cigar, but most cigar smokers aren't the litter bugs that... How many people do you see just flicking cigarettes and just butting it out and putting it in the ground. Throwing them on the ground. Most of us aren't like that. No. I find that the brotherhood of cigars is a lot more respectful and respectable than cigarette smokers. I agree. Which, which is too bad because Justin Trudeau and Kathleen Wynne will not let us smoke anywhere anymore. But that's because they treat tobacco as one product. They don't treat cigarettes differently from cigars because, frankly, how do we differentiate it? That's, that's, that's another whole episode. Yes. Yeah. So, Justin, if you're listening, remember, cigars are better than cigarettes. Just, just saying. Lower the taxes and let us smoke from time to time. I agree. All right. So, we've had a great time with our cigars. I think it's time to put out, and as we said, we're just going to leave them there. And that's going to be it for our cigar. They will go out within a couple of minutes. We'll put them into a tree, and we will be done for the evening. Stefan Tartaglia, Stefano Tartaglia, I want to thank you very much. We've had such a great time this We've evening. Had a fantastic time. And the guy behind the camera, who has not made one mistake, he has not missed a line so far. He has been spectacular, and in his honor, I'm going to smoke his Monte Cristo 80th anniversary cigar. So thank you very much for Stefan, Stefano Tartaglia. I'm Mitch Garvis. Have a great evening.